Hi, this is Sahil Salathia, and you're watching me on Awesome TV. Sahil, आपको हमेशा से actor ही बनना था? नहीं. No, not at all. Like for example, I'm not okay doing television series. Worst dressed celebrity? Amisha Patel. Hello, hi, and welcome to Bollywood Gapshap with Pooja Nawati. And today's Gapshap is going to be very special because with me is Sahil Salathia. Hello, hi, and welcome to Awesome TV. Thanks, Pooja. How are you? Very good. Now, even happier with you and Sahil. Thank you. 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 Happy <laughs> smile and energy. Thank you so much, and firstly, congratulations for the success of Adhura. Thank you. How yeah. do you feel? I feel very excited and very happy because the show's uh, loved so immensely. My part is loved so immensely. I played Suyash, and uh, there's a lot of love that's coming even uh, on Instagram or even on calls. People who have my number, but from the well, I, I don't like to say fans. I like to say admirers or well wishers. Lots of love coming. You know, Sahil, जब आपने इस किरदार के बारे में सुना था, इस शो को साइन किया था, तब ज़हन में था कि यार इतना प्यार मिलेगा। To be honest, whenever I do anything, be it uh, Adhura or be it uh, any of the series that I've done before, or even Panipat, which didn't even work at the box office. But जब मैं साइन करता हूँ, I'm very positive about it and I'm very upbeat about it. मुझे लगता है कि मुझे बहुत प्यार मिलेगा। That's why I sign it as an actor. I'm very quality driven. I'm very uh character driven if i think i have some scope to perform if i think it'll be a good product only then i do it and you know like you said talking about adhura character that specific hmm. uh character got a lot of love hmm. what according to you worked for you i'll be very honest with you uh according to me what really worked for me is mm -hmm. that i was playing an urban character isse pehle jo meri filmography thi bahut hi uh, alag kisam ki thi because you know i'm from an acting school i've gone to barry john so when you from that school na aapko lagta hai ki screen pe apne jaisa nahi dikhna hai aapka lehza aapki baat karne ka tarika alag hona chahiye everything should be different like you shouldn't look like yourself on screen mm -hmm. physically or even in terms of the emotional quotient you shouldn't replicate yourself on screen yeah. that's why i did panipat i looked like another guy i looked i was playing shamsher bahadur and uh, isme pehli baar aisa hua hai ki i just had to go have fun of course there was a lot of homework also because it's a, a very very um, serious project if you can say mm -hmm. so it's amazon's first horror series but i think the fact that i played an urban character and uh, i was playing an actor i mean i am playing an actor in the series that worked for me yes i'll tell me uh... What has been the turning point for you in terms of any project you have done before? It's yet to come. My biggest turning point is probably yet to come. I don't mm. think uh, that uh, has come as yet. But abhi tak ke kam mein, I would say my turning point would be POW because that was the first time I did something as passionate a project as POW was, mm. and I was playing uh, Yusuf Ali Muazzam, a terrorist from Pakistan. Jo uske liye humne homework kiya tha. That was incredible. I even went bald for just. two episodes in the series physically homework wise hmm. i grew my daddy till here fir maine kaise ek uh, pakistani lehze mein ya afghani lehza bhi keh sakte ho kaise wo log baat karte hain wo pura homework kiya wo hmm. seekha so as an actor i would say that was my turning point because i learned the magic of acting wow yeah sahil aapko hamesha se actor hi banna tha nahi not at all i'm an engineer okay yeah par maine kabhi matlab engineer ke taur pe kaam nahi kiya i've never really worked as an engineer Uh, but I was a bright uh, student. I was a, I I got good grades. I was quite intelligent. And uske baad, you know, I just randomly started modeling. Yeah, I randomly started doing television ads, and then from there, I was picked by Ashutosh Gowarikar's team for Everest. There was never a part of the plan. That's when I went to an acting school after Everest because logon ne kaha ki, "Arey, he's a very good actor. I got an award uh, being a debutant that year." So I was like, "Okay." I was getting a lot of love for what I did on screen. Um, and i i was like okay maybe i should take it more seriously so i really can't believe that he randomly chose to be an actor like see, looks like you know you were born to be a model actor <laughs> look at you look no. at you look at you no 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 uh, well I, i didn't wake up like this i cleaned up because i knew pooja and her team were coming yeah so i really want to know you are not from mumbai right no i'm from jammu you are from jammu yeah. चंडीगढ़ No, not It's that. It's all cool, chill, and very. Cool. I have the. 
I have the coolest parents. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell my, me something about them. Do you want to know? Oh, my mom and dad are really chill. They are not like your quintessential Indian parents. Mujhe kabi kisi cheez ki rok nahi hui hai. But that's probably because I've never been a bad child. Mm. I always had good grades. Teachers pet. Yes. When you mentioned about your love for acting, what was their reaction? Very happy. Huh? Yeah, because like I said, Everest to ऐसी तुक्के से हो गया from TV hmm. ads. But when they saw myself on screen, they were like, "Wow!" And they, then their friends would call them. Then there was so much halla about it in Jammu. It's a small city. Yeah. You know, everybody knew. Oh my God, this guy Sahil Salathia is from Jammu because Salathia is a very particular Jammu surname also. Yes. You know, बहुत ही yeah yeah it's a Rajput uh, surname from Jammu. So when you say Sahil Salathia, whoever's from north, they'll know that this guy is from Jammu. But then you know, tukka lag gaya apni yeah. kaha. Yeah. लेकिन ये एक बार तुक्का लगने से industry में you know. काफी leaving a legacy leaving a good filmography being proud of it that's the whole idea behind me being an actor that's why all the work that i have done i'm very proud of i recommend it to everybody you'll never hear me say are we are wo aise paise ke liye kiya tha dekhna mat but unfortunately when you do television soaps you probably have to say that because a lot of people i know who do television do say that so which is not cool to not be proud of your work so i think as an outsider the biggest struggle is to stick to your ethics to stick to your idea of entertainment i would highly recommend always always be with an uh, agency or a good manager like i'm with a kick ass agency i've always been represented by an agency and the agency i'm with has some of the biggest actors and the newest in the lot uh they have actors who've been around for 20 years safely khan and uh, lots of other actors how is your daily schedule like now one project gets over yeah. now you have to work you have to you know find new opportunities to be honest i have reached a point where uh, touch with god's been kind mm. it's going well now i have another show that's lined up with yacom which, wow. which is going to come out in about 2 months Amazing. uh which is a big show um that's all that i can tell you but we finished it everything's done now we're going to come out very soon luckily in a position where we just said a no to a very cool web series because um, the filmmaker that was supposed to be on board when i was being spoken to hmm. has been changed now the new filmmaker is a new filmmaker who i haven't seen any thing of i'm mm-hmm. sure he'll be great but i don't want to take that chance right now so i am still in a very very uh, great position of picking my projects correctly do you Feel guilty about saying no for any project till date no. in the initial stage. Did you, or were you in a position where you know, yeah, abhi nae hai industry mein ye kam aa raha hai, na nahi bol sakte, ha bol deta ho. Nahi nahi. Aisa hua? I never, never. You know, Everest jab aaya tha, mm-hmm. it, it it came on television, but now it's on Hotstar as Target. But it was a hundred and five episode series where Ashutosh Gowarikar was the face of it. Mm-hmm. He uh, directed it along with Ankush and Glenn. A R Rahman Saab gave the music, and I was one of the protagonists. So when you start like that, now you are already very quality driven. Uske baad when television came to me, then if I, I don't, I can't name like some of the biggest uh, TV production houses, and when they would come and they'd say, "Oh, we want you to do the show," mm-hmm. and if I'll say, "Acha, what is it? It's a series. How, who's the director? Uh, no, ab tension mat lo. Ye chalta rahega show. Bahut paisa banega." So when people talk like that, I get very upset. And then uske baad the uh, uh the thing is it the platforms never the issue it's not I, i might sound wrong television is not the issue or ott is not the issue or big screen is not the issue what you show on it is the issue that tv me kya kuch changes aane chahiye abhi tak wo transition nahi aaya hai tv me i am no expert to comment on it i'm just giving my personal opinion mm-hmm. it's to be honest most of these shows are just memes on instagram if you see mm-hmm. most of these characters are yes. just memes i've never seen anybody appreciating it they are just supposed to be uh, to provide fun content unknowingly it's not a comic scene but the way it's shot and done that becomes the joke so of course i don't want to be a face of that meme <laughs> so that's why i avoid tv shows are a household product you know yeah. it puts a lot of impact yeah on uh, people who stay yeah. in rural areas yeah. what do you yeah. have to say about that there was a time like early 2000s you'll see all the films were being shot in new york paris great looking actors who could really act yeah. all the girls wanted to look like pretty zinta all the boys wanted to look like saif ali khan Correct. then there came a phase of uh, gangs of wasif and uske baad se everybody wants to make only a small town story yeah. with a lot of sexual abuse against women lot of gali galoch lot of uh, 
kacharabazi now none of it is a problem because all of this happens in the society mm. but how you show it is the problem you can't celebrate these things you have to make these characters look bad the things they do on screen when they commit all these crimes unfortunately we make them look cool even if you want to make them look cool in your film that's okay but they have to end in a bad way because as filmmakers as actors we have a responsibility so it's not only about television unfortunately it's about ott also it's about movies also i think in general we just have to be more responsible as a uh, creative people because what you do on screen does make a difference so sahil ke bucket list mein kya kuch hai to be honest you... all the cool filmmakers are in my bucket list you know like beat mr bansali beat zoya akhtar beat uh, there's so many filmmakers yeah actors they're all so amazing Yeah. Like all the new actors I think are so good. So I would want to work with all of them. Like I'm a huge Amir Khan fan. I'm a huge Kangana fan also actually. Really? She's a very very credible actor. So I I would love to work with people like these and just uh, see where it goes. What do you like about Kangana? About her personal uh, comments I don't have anything to comment on because I have not actually, followed the story so much, but about her screen work I think she's one of the most credible actors we've had ever. If you see her in Queen or if you see her in um Uh, money karne ka they, mm. these were two different girls it can't be the same girl like you have to be a very credible actor to be like that mr amir khan also does that and then that's the thrill right pooja like tomorrow when you see my next work you'll be like sahil you were so good i couldn't yeah. believe that was you that's the biggest compliment you can give an actor that dude i couldn't believe that was you आपने सबसे ज्यादा काम आशुतोष गुवारी के जी के साथ किया है उनके साथ आने वाले दिनों में क्या हम आपको ज्यादा देख सकते हैं किसी प्रोजेक्ट में किसी फिल्म में आई कैन टॉक अबाउट इट राइट नाउ बट आई एम श्योर होपफुली uh very 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 soon and uh, he's he'll always be like my cinema guru you know so your fashion game is like on point and you stand out you are experimental yeah. thank you how to do it <laughs> even i don't know like i you know to be honest i just have fun when it comes to fashion now it's become my thing actually one of my things that people speak about that a lot recently i was i mean i've gotten enough awards for that and recently also midday also awarded me with something which is very very special i think the idea puja is to just just have fun be yourself so you also always been compared with ranveer singh <laughs> <laughs> no i mean yeah I, i hear that a lot yeah he's so cool i don't know what to say ranveer is such a cool actor he's so so good uh, recently i had gone for that uh, ap dillon screening for mm-hmm. amazon and i i met him there he's he's a very nice guy man he's such a chill person and he's such a good actor now ranveer singh actually is another actor who really transforms mm. if you see his work it's not the same guy i think padmavat he ate everybody else up he was so good he was the villain but i left with his uh, uh, character sketch you know understanding the wow how amazing he was so i think ranveer is amazing and the comparisons i don't find it flattering because it's not true you know otherwise it's a great name to be compared to because i really love him i think he's a great great uh, personality but it's not true like none of <laughs> nothing that i do is inspired by him or anybody else for that matter everything's inspired by the little things i see around me okay let me prove that to you now this yeah. other day there was this guy who came here to deliver me the newspaper this was literally mm-hmm, mm-hmm. i don't know how many months back and a newspaper I asked for particular newspaper okay. so barisho ka time tha he was wearing a rain coat and a rain pajama which i had never seen like a polythene type rain coat and okay. rain pajama i liked it so much I told him mere bhai kal mere ko aap ye laake doge main aapko paisa dunga iska and agle din maine usko 250 rupaye diye and I uh, got that rain coat and that rain pajama it's not Gucci it's not Versace it's literally from the street and two days later I wore it to one of the brunches and people went mad they were like this is so cool I was like literally my newspaper wala was wearing it and I don't think fashion is about uh, anything else it's literally about getting inspired by the little things around you I'm talking about fashion you know i'm going to ask you for questions and you will have to quickly done answer okay okay best dress celebrity in the bollywood industry uh, sonam kapoor was dressed celebrity amisha patel okay who need uh, fashion tips i think they're all pretty cool i don't think anybody really needs fashion tips but you just mentioned amisha <laughs> Okay. I mean, for what reason? Uh, okay, <laughs> I, I I don't think Amisha needs fashion tips. It's just that I don't I'm not really into yeah, uh, what she. But was was dressed. But once upon a time, I was the biggest Amisha Patel fan. I was in like my probably second or third grade, and that Kahuna uh, Pyare came, Gandhar yeah. came. I had the biggest crush on her. She's she was legendary at that time. अब किसको shopping पर लेके जाना चाहेंगे साथ में? Oh. I think probably Malaika because she's yeah. Uh, yeah I find her very cool and I think I'll take her shopping because then she can also give me some shopping tips. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe Malaika. Most weirdest dressed celebrity. Oh, uh 
can't think of anybody. Hi, just give you a hint. She's very famous on social media. Oh. <laughs> Oh no no no! <laughs> I, I think I kind of got it. Uh, I talk about Urfi. <laughs> yeah, yeah but I, she's creative. I would say Urfi is quite creative. I like her. I would say she's quite she's creative. Stupid. Like she's she's got a very smart mind and and if not everything, yeah. but some of the looks that she does are quite cool. Yeah, and I've been told that she creates it herself with her. Yeah. Like she literally has like say somebody who stitches it for her. So that's a big a big ask for that. No? Definitely. If you if it's not the brands that are sending you this and you're creating all these creative looks, I think it's quite cool. Okay, most expensive outfit you have had so far. Recently, like I did a like Abu Jani's uh, outfit, which mm -hmm. I wore for the uh, for my very close friend's wedding. It was about uh, six and a half lakhs. Ooh. Yeah. But जाने से पहले अपने fans और हमारे awesome दर्शकों से क्या कहना चाहेंगे? I will just say thank you for talking to me and thank you for sticking around and listening to my conversation. And be safe, be good, be kind, be positive, and yeah, just keep sending some love my way. And it was so great talking to you. Pooja. Yeah, Baba, it was simply awesome talking to you. Pleasure, Sahil. pleasure, Take care. pleasure, Wish you luck. pleasure.